How did the situation happen? In 2015, a clinician contacted the health protection team regarding a patient who had been diagnosed with hepatitis C infection, who had been referred for clinical assessment for treatment. The patient didn't have any of the usual risk factors for hepatitis C, but did have a history of surgery performed by the healthcare worker. The healthcare worker had been diagnosed with hepatitis C infection in 2008 as a result of a routine occupational health test. The healthcare worker did not have any symptoms of hepatitis C infection and until they were given the test result did not know that they had hepatitis C infection. A detailed investigation of the situation was carried out by NHS Lanarkshire in collaboration with Health Protection Scotland and Public Health England to try to identify if there was any evidence of transmission of infection from the healthcare worker to a patient. A report was submitted to the United Kingdom Advisory Panel for Healthcare Workers Infected with Bloodborne Viruses, which advised that the evidence available at that time did not support carrying out a patient notification exercise. The identification of a patient in 2015 who did not have risk factors for hepatitis C and who had been operated on by the healthcare worker led to further investigation by NHS Lanarkshire, again in collaboration with Health Protection Scotland and Public Health England. A record linkage exercise identified a second patient for whom there was concern that transmission of infection may have occurred. Following further investigation, including detailed testing of viruses, it was concluded that it was likely that transmission of hepatitis C infection to two patients had occurred. A further report was submitted to the UK Advisory Panel and the panel endorsed the proposal made by NHS Lanarkshire that a patient notification exercise should be conducted.